on the rise in monkeypox cases. Around 20 people in the UK thought to have the disease, with numbers expected to rise beyond that. The question is, what is it? Should we be worried? Let's speak to Professor Hugh Pennington, who uh, lives in Aberdeen. Uh, morning, Hugh. Um, are we are we getting this all out of proportion? Some people are talking about pandemics. We should keep some perspective here, shouldn't we? Absolutely. Not a pandemic. It's it's nothing like COVID at all. It's nowhere near as transmissible as COVID. You have to have very close uh, contact either with somebody who's got the virus, and particularly somebody who's got the spots, so you know they've got it, or you can catch it, so it is said, from you know, articles of bedding where a patient has been lying. And there was one health uh, associate health worker case in the UK earlier where that was thought to be the mode of transmission. But you have to have this very close contact, quite different from COVID. So it, it, it's, it, it's nothing like um, that kind of virus from the transmissible point of view. And it's not a pandemic. 20 cases currently confirmed in the UK. And just explain to us how serious is it if you're one of those 20? Well, uh, of all the cases of monkeypox which have occurred outside of Africa, nobody has died. And there have been, you know, 100, 150 cases over the years, mostly in people who've come back from uh, either Central or West Africa and caught the virus there, or uh, you know, through the roots I was, uh, I was telling you about. And up until this particular sort of outbreak, the biggest one was the United States, where somebody had imported some um, rodents from, um, from Ghana, and they'd infected pet prairie dogs. And the owners of the pet prairie dogs who bought them caught, uh, caught the monkeypox. And there were maybe as many as 70 cases in the US of this particular um, uh, sort of infection from an animal. This is quite different. The one we're seeing now is quite different. It seems to be really focused uh, on men who have sex with men. And, you know, basically uh, STD clinics, for example, are fully aware of it. And some of the people who work in those clinics have been vaccinated because there is a vaccine which protects against monkeypox. It's the same vaccine that protects against smallpox because monkeypox is a relative of smallpox. It's not the same. It's nowhere near as nasty. Um, and um, basically, you, you feel ill for a few days and then you get the spots and then you get better. Can we rule out that this virus is mutating and that's leading to this sort of increase in cases outside uh, Africa? Well, that's been looked at very intensely by doing genetic sequencing of the virus, but it's very unlikely. Um, we, we, viruses like uh, pox viruses, they're, they're big DNA viruses, and they have a, a mutation rate which is much less than viruses like COVID. And we've never seen very much in the way of any change, for example, through the years in smallpox. There was only one variant over hundreds of years, and that was a very mild variant, which actually got into the UK in the 1920s and 30s. But um, the number of variants is very, very low. And uh, nobody's expecting any particular um, uh, changes in monkeypox. There are two different kinds of monkeypox. There's one from Central Africa, which is a bit nastier than the one from West Africa. And this outbreak seems to be the West African kind. But as I said, all the people who've caught monkeypox and fallen ill outside of, the, uh, outside of, of Africa, none of them uh, have died from the virus, which is quite different from a smallpox where as many as 20%, maybe even more than that, of people who got the virus had died, whatever we did to uh, try and save their lives. Professor Hugh Pennington, thank you very much for your insight this morning. As we mentioned earlier, 20 uh, confirmed cases and about, I think, 100 suspected contacts, but really good to give us a breakdown of what exactly uh, this infection is.